Up to this point, we discussed capacitors which consist of two conducting objects. For example, a parallel plate capacitor consists of two parallel conducting plates. So two conducting objects make up a capacitor. Now we're going to examine capacitance in terms of a single conductor. Now to define the capacitance in terms of a single conductor, we must define the voltage at an infinite distance away to be zero. So for example, if we have the following conducting object, a distance of infinite far away, the voltage is assumed to be zero at that particular point. So in such a case, we can define what the capacitance is of such an object. So let's suppose we want to define what the capacitance is of a single concentric thin spherical shell with a charge given by positive Q. So this charge is distributed evenly and uniformly on the surface of that spherical shell. Now, the radius of this particular shell is given by R2 and we want to find what the capacitance is of such a conductor. Now, in the previous lecture, we were able to show that the voltage difference of a double spherical capacitor that consists of two spherical shells, an inner shell and an outer shell, is given by the following equation. So the voltage is equal to Q, the quantity of charge on either one of those shells, divided by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by 1 R2 minus 1 R2. R1, where R2 is simply the radius of the inner shell and R1 was the radius of the outer shell. So now we're going to use this result, but we're going to assume that this is our inner shell and the outer shell is an infinite distance far away. So if we assume that the outer radius is an infinite distance away, then that means R1 is equal to infinity. And that means if this quantity is infinitely large, that means this fraction will be equal to zero. So the voltage of a single capacitor is equal to Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by 1 divided by R2, where R2 is the radius of this particular single concentric uh, thin sphere. So. Now we have to use the following equation. The quantity of charge Q is equal to the product of the capacitance and the voltage. Now in this case, the voltage difference is simply equal to this quantity because the voltage at an infinite distance far away is assumed to be zero. So that means we can take this result and plug it into our V. So we take this equation, rearrange and solve for our capacitance. Capacitance is equal to Q divided by voltage. The Q remains. We replace our voltage with this quantity. We get the following result. Notice that our Q's will cancel and this quantity will go on top. And so we see that the capacitance of a single spherical conducting shell with radius R2 is equal to 4 pi multiplied by epsilon naught, the permittivity of free space constant, multiplied by the radius given by R2.